Hey Leo, welcome to your mid-monthly reading for May 2021. My name is Johanna. Welcome to Tenacious Soul. We are going to go through some general messages for the rest of the month. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. I am also on Instagram, so um, I post different readings over there. So if you're interested or if you're on Instagram, feel free to follow me. The link for that is also below, okay? Um, so we have Divine Matrix, number 44. And we have the land between. So I feel some of you could be traveling. Um, but I also feel like there's like a, there's like a spiritual uh, connection here between like, it's like you're really balancing out your spiritual world and your um, practical world, you know, kind of your 3D world. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Emperor. So you definitely could be dealing with a, another fire sign. We've got Sag and Aries here. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Moon, the Six of Wands, the King of Swords, we have the Four of Cups, the Strength, and the Ten of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles. All right. So I feel as though um, you guys are definitely kind of in your like Leo-esque energy. I feel like you're feeling really good, especially with this divine matrix. I feel like you guys are really kind of in balance or in harmony with kind of like yourself. Um, I don't know if you maybe feel things could be a little stagnant. I feel like um, there was some sort of change in the past here. And I don't know if that's, it could be something within you, like this could both be you, the Emperor and the Queen of Pentacles. You could have been just really looking after things, nurturing something that you're working on, but it also could be um, a change between you and another person. I feel like you're getting clear about something. A lot of you, you could be getting a lot of attention or maybe there's like, uh, if you have some sort of like a following or something, it's like you're being noticed by people with the Six of Wands. And you're being noticed for your strength. We have the Emperor and the Strength card surrounding the Six of Wands. Like, I feel like people see you as somebody who's very powerful, very in, very much in their power, very stable. Now, there may be something that you're rejecting. Like, I feel like you're getting clear on something and it's like you're, you could be rejecting something and like putting some sort of a burden down here. Um, so I don't know if this is reg with regards to a person. Again, there was some sort of change here within a connection, possibly in the recent past. Uh, but it's almost like something's being revealed with the moon card here. You're getting clear on something that maybe you've been kind of like hiding from people. Or maybe people have been hiding from you. We do have the king and the queen of pentacles. I do kind of feel like there's, uh, there's somebody else in your energy here. What is this wheel of fortune here for Leo? What is this wheel of fortune here? We have the fool and the sun. Yeah, like I feel like you, a lot of you branched off into something new. You followed your intuition here with the high priestess. Again, that like Leo energy, you're really following your own divine um, kind of path, right? You're kind of just going where you want to go. What's this emperor here? Oh boy, there's way too many cards. What is the uh, emperor here for? For Leo, for this emperor, we have the Eight of Wands. <clears throat> so there definitely could have been communication here with this person. Tell me more about this emperor. Nine of Wands, Nine of Swords. There's like some sort of stress and worry uh, that this emperor has. Clarify this queen. We have the star. So you guys are really kind of nurturing, really looking after yourself, really kind of doing a lot of healing work, I feel. Um, it's like you're definitely, with that feminine energy, definitely nurturing yourself. You could be keeping to yourself. Um, I feel like, too, possibly if you maybe stopped talking to somebody, it's like they could be stressed or worried about it. Tell me more about this Eight of Wands. Two of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, King of Cups. I feel like this person is like trying to figure out whether they're in gonna invest emotionally. Um, I don't know if they feel like, 
Yeah, we have the Ace of Cups. It's like whether they're going to express their emotion. Whether they feel like they're capable. They may have a bit of a wall up or a guard up with the Nine of Wands. But I feel like this person kind of like really kind of keeps their emotions to themselves or has kept their emotions to themselves. But it's like they, they're trying to figure out like how to invest or if they should. I feel like you're kind of do, off doing your own thing. What's the moon here for? So I feel like something, I don't know if it's like, what's the moon here for? For Leo. That was weird. <laughs> we have the Four of Swords or the Hanged Man. I feel like you guys are looking at shadow aspects of yourself or you're looking at, you're, you're seeing something very clearly that maybe has had once been hidden from you. Um, I feel like this is part of like what you're healing from as well. Um, so that could be like anything. It doesn't even have to be related to a relationship. We have the Six of Cups and the Five of Pentacles as well. I feel like a lot of you, it's like, yeah, like things that you've been keeping hidden. Some of you miss something from the past. There's like an element of missing something from your past. That could be a person. Some of you as well have like left your past behind. You're starting to heal that. Others of you have abandonment wounds from childhood that you're healing from. Or there's like an aspect of like... Um, it's like if you've tried to just run from your past or leave your past, it's like you're you're starting to kind of reflect on it and take a look, um, take a look at it. And I actually feel like it's helping your confidence here with this six of wands. It's like you're feeling really good about yourself. You're feeling really confident in yourself. Clarify this king of swords. So if you've been doing any sort of healing work or like intentional healing work, I feel like you're starting to kind of reap the rewards. You're starting to feel a lot more confident in your skin wanted to say in your skin for some reason um so the king of swords is the page of pentacles ten of pentacles so some of you could be thinking of an, an idea here um some of you are getting clear that you want a family there that you want kids some of you are getting clear on a project of like how to how to put something in action or you're learning about something to kind of get you to this ten of pentacles so again i feel like a lot of you guys you have somebody in your past but i feel like a lot of you some of you could be dating even i want to say um, or you're kind of just, I feel like you know what you want, even if you're dating. We do have the uh, Knight of Cups here. I feel like you've kind of walked away from one thing, but you're also healing. And it's like, I feel like you're moving to an interesting new place. Um, you might not really know where you're going here. What's this Four of Cups for Leo? Five of Cups. Ace of Cups, Nine of Swords, Five of Swords, or Five of Wands, sorry. I feel like some of you still miss something from the past. I feel like there is something new in your surroundings here. Like, I feel like something's being offered to you. But I feel like there's a part of you that's not sure if you want it or you're still trying to, you could be still focused on the past. Um, but there is change coming in here. I feel like there's a need for you to kind of like listen to your intuition and like, I feel like there's still something that like someone here from the past that you're not talking to that you still kind of miss. Um, and it's causing conflict. It's, it's making things maybe a little bit challenging to kind of move forward. Um, Cause I do feel like there's new love here. But you're kind of frustrated with like maybe where things have gone or like how things have progressed. There is a lot of change happening here. We have three fives. Three fives? Three fives. What's this ten of wands for Leo? Death. Yeah, you're letting something go. We have temperance here. Um, it definitely could be this fire sign from the past. There's a lot of fire back there, but I also feel like for a lot of you, letting this go, whatever this burden is for you, whether it's a person or a situation, letting that go is actually kind of balancing you out. It's releasing you and making you, um, it's like you're, you're getting to this more stable place and I feel like you're gonna start to receive a lot of blessings from the universe because um, you know, you're kind of working more with the universe. You're not resisting things as much anymore.
Interesting. So there's definitely new a new opportunity here. I feel like you know what you want. Uh, but I think it's just a matter of like still letting go. There's still something I feel that's like hanging you up about going towards this new opportunity or this new person. So let's see what your advice is, Leo. What's the advice for Leo this month? We have the Nine of Cups. The Queen of Wands. We have the Devil. And we have the Four of Pentacles. Interesting. A lot of Capricorn energy here. Focus on yourself. Um... Be, stay committed to your goals as well like whatever is kind of a hope or a dream for you with the nine of cups I feel like you need to stay committed to that I feel like I don't really feel like the devil here is necessarily a bad thing unless you're overindulging just be cautious of that with the nine of cups and the devil just um, whatever that could be overindulging in could be food could be alcohol could be people or just like pleasures with the nine of cups um, just don't be overindulgent. Some of you, it could be like, um, something sexual as well. So like just being, um, cautious, but overall, overall, I just feel like stay committed to your goals Four of pentacles can talk about being committed to your goals. So keep focusing on yourself because I feel like you're headed in good directions. Your love life, I feel like is going to, you're really being strong and kind of ending a situation. I feel like you're letting go of the past and there's new love here that is in your energy. I feel like it's already kind of in your energy. So that is what I have for you, Leo. Hopefully that's helpful for you guys. Um, let me know down below if it was. You can always check out your other signs um, if this one did not resonate. So I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.